Um, hello, so today we are going to do largest local values in a matrix. This is part of today's contest. Um, and so the, the problem says we have an n by n grid and we have an integer matrix max local that has size n minus 2 by, by n minus 2. And basically max local at position ij is equal to the largest value of the 3 by 3 matrix that has the center being i plus 1, j plus 1, right? And so we want to generate this new matrix here where each position in this um, n by 2 by n by 2 matrix is the largest value of the 3 by 3 matrix that has that position um, that has the position i plus 1, j plus 1 as its center in the original matrix. So the wording of it is a little bit messy, but what, what we need to do is exactly just translate um, what the problem says into code pretty much. So basically we want to create a new one that has the um, these two edge uh, dimensions. So we need to create um, the, max, the ma matrix first, with just placeholder values, let's say zero. And then we go through each i and j index, right? Um, up to n minus two, right? Because that's what we need here. Um, and then after, for each position i and j, we just look at the left, which is i, the element itself, which is i plus one, and then the i plus two, to get a three by three. So that's for the row index. For the column index, similar, we'll look at j, j plus one, and j plus, plus, plus two. So these three for i and j will constitute the, um, the values in our three by three matrix and just we'll pick the max. So very straightforward, just applying the problem statement. Um, so let's cut it up and make sure it passes test cases. Um, so what we need is we need our result matrix, right? So that one is going to be just we do exactly as the problem says, which is that we need to initialize it to n minus 2. Uh, so it needs to be n minus 2 values, uh, n minus 2 rows and n minus 2 columns. So that's what we are doing here. Okay, but what is n? n is just the length of the grid. I'll just rename this m to be easy to, to write. So it's the length. Uh, and now we want to return that at the end. And now we just go through all the indices of res matrix, which is since it's n by 2, n by 2, we just need to go through them like this. Um, and now, well, we, are, we have our, I'll, I'll just call it double I here. So this is needs to be the 3 by 3 matrix that we are looking for here. So this is three by three that we are looking for the max in it. So what's the best value for the max? That's M of I. Um, plus one, J plus one, right? That's the, an element in it. And so here the, the values are I to I plus three. And for J, let's call it double J as well. It's just J to J plus three. So J, J plus one, J plus two. And then for the best, it's just the max, right? So we just take the max of that and the element at this position, right? And then at the end, what we assign to ij is going to be best, right? Okay, so i, I plus 1, j plus 1 is the center. Um, yeah, you could also initialize it to ij. It doesn't really matter. That should also work. One thing we want to do is make sure the boundaries are correct. So i plus 2 would be, we need i plus 2 to be smaller than, um, so actually here the last value for i would be n minus uh, 3, right? So what this would mean here um, is that we'll always have i plus 1. So we don't need to check for the boundary here. Okay, so let's run this. I'll submit. 
and that passes test cases. Um, yeah, so pretty straightforward in terms of time complexity. This is O of um, n here, O of n here, and then these two are three O of three, right? So you can say three by three nine n squared. So overall, it should be just n squared um, time, and then in terms of space O of n, um, o of n by n as well. So O of n squared space for this result matrix. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.